Okay, so this picks up after video two for the golf club profit maximization problem. Last time we figured that the power um, function was the best one because it produced the least mean absolute percentage error. So that's why I said it was the most accurate measure. So we want to use an equation where that uses this is the constant multiplied by the price raised to the power of negative 1.9082. So what I did was I went into the second spreadsheet here, the profit model. I plugged in the 5871064, which is essentially, if I wanted to, I could just go here so that I have exactly the same number. And that figure was derived from here. The unit cost produced is just a um, value that was given. And the decision variable is the unit's price. We start off with a a trial value of 400. Later we're going to figure out which one's the best. That's the purpose, is figure out what price should we charge to maximize our profit, given the relationship between pricing and demand. And then what we do <clears throat> is we um, have to do some calculations. Well, the predicted demand would be equal to, I said, B4, which is the constant, multiplied by B11, which is the unit price, raised to the power of the exponent from the power curve that we talked about earlier on. So um, power curve. So that's where we got the predicted demand, 63.601 units. So the total revenue is just going to be the number of units, 63.601, multiplied by the unit price, which is 400. So this cell is just B14 multiplied by the price. The total cost will be equal to this predicted demand, which is in units, 63 times 250. So that's where B14, B14 multiplied by B8 comes from. And our profit will be this revenue subtract this cost, which gives us that figure. Now we want to figure out where, you know, what price produces the maximum profit. So what we did was we created a, a, a data table here where we've got the unit price along this column and the profit here. This data table will need a calculation figure right here, which is just a reference to 9540, which is this cell right here. And then to do a one put input data table, I have to highlight this range of um, values. Notice how I got them going from, I think, 250 in increments of $10 all the way up to 710. So now that I have that, I go to data. I go to what if analysis and I go to data table. And then the column input cell, um, this figure right here, we say is going to be the unit price we charge, which is our decision variable. I'm going to put that right there and click on OK. And what it does is it tells us how much profit we can expect to make um, in, the, in this scenario. And I could figure out what the maximum profit is by going max and then taking the maximum of this column, which is 10,409. And if I look up 10,409 right here, that corresponds to a price of, hmm, I guess I need the decimals. Ten four oh nine oh six. Ten four oh nine oh six. Five hundred and thirty dollars. Maximum profit. That gives us the you know best price is five hundred and thirty dollars. And let me just check that. Yeah, but it's the same figure that um, the textbook gets. So, we have now figured out that the best price is going to be the one associated with 10,409.06, which is $530 a unit. So that's what we should charge in order to maximize our profit. So I will uh, stop this here, and that's your full problem. It started out with having some historical price and demands. We used um, a scatter plot to put the equation of a linear power and exponential function on 
the graph. <clears throat> we then read the equation from each of the sets of data to put its variables, its, its constants actually, in these um, positions here. Use those in order to calculate what the expected demand would be under each of these price points. And then we calculated how the percentage error of each of these um, unit demand uh, figures against the actual that occurred and then average them to find out the mean absolute percentage error and we found that the linear was the least accurate exponential was second least accurate and the most accurate was the power function then we used the parameters of the power function here in order to come up with a, a figure as to what our revenue would be and our demand would be um, at, at, at various levels of um, to find out what our profit would be using um, this function here to calculate what our demand would be. After we got this little income statement we then created a one input data table where the unit price right here <coughs> was the was the um, column input cell and found that the highest point was 530 was 10.409.06 which means the best prices 530. If we wanted to, we could have created a graph that would show this where the maximum point is right here. And that's how we solve this problem.